Hello again, peoples of the internet. It's me, Marshall 98 and I'm back in my Redstone world on Minecraft Xbox 360 to show you something I created. So, I found out recently, by accident, you can stack carts, and I thought, what, what could I do with that that's useful? Couldn't think of anything useful, so I made this, which, you know, may not be useful, but it looks pretty cool. So it's a repetitive system where, obviously, you can see how it works. That pushes that out to the side, and this act pushes it onto the track. And it goes over there and lands back on the pile where it's going to be pushed out again and it repeats. So, uh, the thing with cars when they stack is they can't stack on a track. So, if you put a car on a track and put another car on top of it, it'll just become the same uh, two cars in one place and it'll glitch out. So, that doesn't work. But it does work if it's off the track. So, if I would push all these onto the track, they'd all become one in one space and it would all be very glitchy and bad. But if they're off tracks, then it's fine. So, how this works, obviously, is there's a resting clock here. All that does is push this to the side there, and that one pushes it forward, just in case it misses the track the first time. See that? And every now and then it might miss. Nope, or miss. Okay. But that just helps, just in case one slightly off, there we are. So that pushes it up, and then they go up here, which is all I've pushed already. That lands up with the pile, and there, and it lands up. Also, the reason I've got this big line up here is because the occasional one will go off. Let's see if one happens there now. Um, wait for a sec. It's a bit random about how far they fly, so every now and then there'll be one that flies a bit further than the others. There we are. So that one, if I had that, it would have flown past the pile and wouldn't land on it. So that's why I've got this big line there to stop any ones that, you know, fly a bit too far from going off the pile. And then this resident clock is just sitting there, because that one first and this one four, four ticks up, is that four ticks? I can't remember how many ticks there are. But also, I had to do a half slab, I had to be pushing a half slab, because otherwise if it was a full block, you'd push two of the carts, which would do the thing where they wouldn't they wouldn't stack on top of each other, they'd just be book on one, and then there'd be two going up there and it'd be a bit weird, and it wouldn't be as good. So that's why I've got this half slab, so I only push the one at the bottom, instead of, uh, if I had a full block, which I tried first, which would have pushed both of them to the, onto the track, and then that would have, you know, moved both of them up, and it wouldn't be as good. So that's how I do one at a time. This is a resin clock here, I've got a double resin clock for no reason whatsoever except that I can use two torches there, even though I could have anyway. I just did that because it looks cool and symmetrical. So I put spiral up there with some, you know, powered track, and that just goes on the top, and lands back on the pile. And that's really all there is to it, it's a very simple thing. I think it looks really cool, it keeps going forever. You can stop it by if I just pull that lever here, it stops perfectly, and then they all just land the pile, and it just becomes a big pile. And I can start it now and it'll still work perfectly fine. There we are. Perfectly fine. Yeah, it'll, it'll... What the hell just happened? Okay, that was... Okay, I'll get rid of this one. There we are. It's not happening over there. It doesn't usually happen, but you know. Maybe occasionally it won't work. But that was only because I stopped it. If you keep going, it will definitely work and it'll keep going for as long as you leave on. No, I didn't work then, I guess maybe when I... I don't even know. It was out of place, so I went to go on to it. But now it works. So yeah, that is my... Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to call it. Repetitive cart system thing. It just looks cool. I'll think of a name. It's in the title, you've already seen the name, so... You know. But yeah. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. I mean, this, you can make this is really simple to make. If you just look at it, I'll show you some systems again. A bit more of it. That's the resting clock. Yeah, it can be on. I put it on the the, the fastest resting clock you can make with this sort of system, which is three ticks and three ticks, three ticks and three ticks. You don't need this other one. And in fact, I don't need that to go with that. It works perfectly fine. But that's just general resting clock there. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and that's it, really. Uh, rate, comment, like, subscribe, you know the rest, and see you later, guys.